Hello and welcome to part one of the Container-Based Deployment Capability for CA Service Management 17.3 video series. In this video, we will discuss and showcase the new Container-Based Deployment Capability in CA Service Management 17.3. It is recommended to have a basic understanding of container terminology using concepts for a seamless deployment experience. For more information, see CA Service Management 17.3 documentation. Historically, any upgrade or patching has been a cumbersome and resource-intensive task, spanning from hours to days for medium to large-size deployments. CA Service Management 17.3 via containerization simplifies the overall install, upgrade, patching, and scaling experience. The underlying technology of Docker and Kubernetes drastically reduces the deployment time from hours to days to less than an hour for varied deployment sizes. The platform agnostic nature of these technologies gives the option of deployment to the solution on-prem or running on a public, private, or hybrid cloud platform. These benefits, in turn, reduce the total cost of ownership of the entire CA service management solution and simplifies administration. This diagramic illustration shows the difference between containers and virtual machines. A container is a lightweight, standalone, executable piece of software that contains all the libraries, configuration files, and other necessary parts to run an application. Things like host operating system and infrastructure remain outside the image and are shared. This is in contrast to the virtual machine setup, which is its own operating system that needs to be installed, adding to the resource consumption and slowing down overall deployment. This architectural diagram provides an overview of the CA service management solution deployment with out-of-box requirements for each server. It is specific to a typical test environment deployment. The value of these resources can be customized as per one's requirement. On the left-hand side of the diagram, notice that each component is in the form of a cluster in Kubernetes. Xflow Microservices, CA Service Catalog, Service Test Manager, Web Screen Painter, and Search Server Clusters are all kept within the Kubernetes cluster. CAEEM, Jasper Service, CA Process Automation, and MDB are all kept outside of the cluster. Let's take a look at commonly used terms and assets bundled in the CA Service Management Docker Installer. Images bundled under CA Service Management containers are SDM App Server, SDM Web Screen Painter, Xflow Microservices, such as Collaboration, Incident, Insights, Push, and Search Microservices, CA Service Catalog, Search Server, and Raza Server. Before we proceed, let's cover some of the non-supported use cases in CA Service Management containers. Only Advanced Availability Mode is supported for CA Service Desk Manager. Conventional configuration is not supported. MS SQL Server on Japanese is not supported. RASA on Japanese is not supported. NTLM and OS-based authentication on SDM is not supported. This is because Linux does not have a mechanism to support the NTLM protocol. Catalog Accounting Package Since we have used Ingress as a load balancer, some features on-prem deployment are not relevant anymore. For example, Web Developer and Apache Web Server.
Before we start the deployment process, we will need to consider and plan for the following prerequisites. We must have a Kubernetes cluster with one master node and at least two worker nodes. If the worker nodes are not big enough, we can just go with one, but it's better to have more than one where there's always a risk of a VM or host worker node going down. We will need to ensure that both the master and worker node have Docker. For persistent volumes, we will not need to configure persistent volumes because each cloud provider has its own APIs and respective configuration for storage providers. For persistent storage, we will need to have a storage class name, chasm, slash SE. Always have a dynamic provisioner that supports read-write capabilities, since these persistent volumes are shared between many application servers. In this section, we will cover the sequence of the deployment of the entire solution. This includes deployment SDM background and app servers, deployment catalog after SDM background and app servers are up and running, adjust SDM configurations as needed, restart incident microservices and SDM app and background servers for configuration changes to be applied, start the search server, perform initial load, Execute train rasa command if virtual analyst is installed. Installed rasa for the virtual analyst. Run all the remaining microservices, such as push search collaboration, one by one. Run insight microservice for advanced reporting. Insight microservice is installed towards the end as it requires an installed Jasper server from a DVD on the machine where the Jasper is running. This also requires advanced Kubernetes configuration because Jasper server connects to one of the service desk servers, so all the slump work needs to be proxied from the cluster to this specific pod. During deployment, you can skip the components not applicable for your environment. For example, in SDM-only environment, deployment of catalog is not needed. This completes part one of the CA Service Management Container video series. Thank you for watching this video.